Today's lesson is going to be centered around the power of data. This to me is perhaps the most important skill in being able to steer your CPAP therapy for the better. Because what you can do here is you can basically zoom out and then figure out where you made changes and see what happened with respect to those changes. Remember, just as a philosophy when dealing with your PAP therapy, the best thing to do is to make small changes and then to give those small changes some time. That's the ideal. I understand that sometimes you're gonna make changes and it's gonna go terribly and you're gonna to wanna to switch back, that's okay. But by and large, what I suggest, you know, and recommend in the strongest possible terms is to make very small changes in PAP therapy and then see how the before and after differs. Because I'll reiterate, many times I've seen patients change something as, you know, seemingly insignificant as a 0.2 centimeter change in pressure and their therapy looks drastically different, right? Just like everyone has a different threshold of arousal, it's also likely that everyone is gonna have a slightly different degree of reaction to any given change. So the first thing that I want you guys just to see in this chart is you can see all of these days of flow limitation. Each bar is one day, right? So we're pretty zoomed out here from April 17th all the way to December. And you can see that the flow limitation over here on average is much higher than the flow limitation over here, right? These bars are much shorter on average than all the bars on this side of, let's say, this gap. So what happened? I'll let you look at the data for a second and try to figure that out. Do, 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 do. The only thing that changed, the only thing, is the time of going to bed and getting up. Look at it again. It'll be clear to you now. And you might ask yourself, well, how does that bring flow limitation down? That is not what is important here, right? You know, I, I studied uh, chemistry in undergrad and one of the most valuable lessons I ever got is I was working under this professor in a pharma lab and I was basically creating a molecule in let's say the best way. And every once in a while he would come in and we would draw on the board what we think is happening with the reaction, like how the molecule is changing. And one day I was just drawing through a reaction and we were both kind of nodding like, yeah, that, that, that looks quite reasonable. Yeah, that, that could be what's happening. And I looked at him, I was like, so do you think this is it? And he looked at me and said, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the end result. Basically in chemistry, everyone wanted, you know, still wants to a little bit to this day, figure out exactly what happened. But the practical people go, well, who cares? We have a thing that's working, right? And I encourage you to take on that philosophy with respect to your PAP therapy. You don't have to always find exactly why some change is giving you different results. What's important is that you're getting better results, right? So if you look again here, we can see I was going to bed late and getting up late compared to here. Here I was going to bed early and getting up early. That's the only thing that changed. I promise you, because I recall this specifically. And this of course can spur on some interesting conversations. Maybe it has to do with the degree of uh, natural light exposure that I got, the difference that is between those two days. Don't forget too guys that you can quantify how you're feeling. So every morning I encourage you to use this little scale and record how you're feeling because you can line that up with the data as well. Let me show you guys one more. Here's another example of change in flow limitation. Do you see where things change quite a bit? Do, 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 do. Yes, what happened right here to get flow limitation down to this, to zero, that's not very common. And then all of these days, that was EPR two centimeters to EPR three centimeters. So just wanted to make this video short and sweet. I just want to get across to you guys the value of zooming out and looking at your data from 30,000 feet and looking at the patterns and marking where the changes are. Remember, you can go over to the statistics tab and see where the changes are. This provides so much value because sometimes the changes aren't gonna be immediate, sometimes the changes aren't gonna be perceptible, but really, when you contrast an average versus a different average, there is the difference that can be felt or seen. This is your secret weapon, guys. Do not let these broken down, outdated systems demoralize you. They have already taken enough. Wake up in the morning and tell yourself that you're gonna find a better quality of life and that there are volumes of brilliant and well-intentioned people out there trying to figure out exactly how to do that. Turning over rocks and finding nothing is progress. And believing that tomorrow will be better it increases the probability that it will.